So what you want to do is make an opportunity, look for opportunities to talk about your business. People are used to find, they don't even listen to the response, but what if it went something like this? Hey Danielle, how are you? And she says, oh my gosh, I'm so incredible. You think I go, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I'd, I'd be waiting for the rest. Or I'd say, what, what, what's going on? I'd be, she just set me up to be responsive, right? What's going on? Oh, well, I really can't talk about it right now. The kids are in the car, but oh, I have to call you. Well, great, call me. What time are you going to be home? I'm going to be setting the appointment for her. <laughs> call me. <laughs> call me as soon as you get home. Well, the kids take a nap or something, you know. That's all she has to do. She calls me and said, and I say, you know, it's about time. Tell me what's going on. And she says, well, you know, here I am with three kids. And of course, I'm putting words in her mouth. With three kids, I hardly have any time to even brush my teeth or I've started my own business. I'm like, no. I'm thinking, how in the world? I want more. She set me up again. She said that curiosity. And I said, what are you talking about? She says, well, I'm really into health and wellness. And I'm on this kid. You know, I work out at the gym every day. I hate putting toxic products on my kids. I'm like, toxic, what's she talking about? And I decided to create a healthy environment in my home. And I love these products so much, I'm actually creating some income on the side while my husband's at work. I can have my own spending money. Boom, she got my attention. Especially if I'm a, you know, a young mom with three kids and, and on a budget and all that stuff. And I was in those shoes a while back. That just got my attention. So I want to know even more. Can I come over? <laughs> or she might say, you know what, I've got to go. And it's OK, always be in a hurry. Because that keeps you from having to say too much. If she starts diary at the mouth, I'm thinking, OK, I've got to go. I've lost interest. It's, it's too much. But she can't say, you know what? Why don't you come over? The kids are napping for the next couple hours. And I'll show you some of this stuff. Only oh, have makeup. I'm like, what? I'll be right there. <laughs> you know, you just you just speak the language of, of that person. Let's say um, I'm going to see uh, my friend's mom. Um, I run into her at the grocery store, and she knows who I am. And let's say I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a trainer. I'm just you know, average person. And I've started my business in Sizzle. I run into my friend's mom, and she says, "Oh, hi, Jackie. How are you?" And I say, "I'm incredible. Wait till I tell you." And she's like, well, what's going on? Well, you know, I've done something I've always wanted to do. I started my own business. She says, when do you have time for that? Three little kids. Or, or, you already have a job. What are you talking about? Well, you know, it's something I've always wanted to do. You know, I really am into health products. I love being healthy. And I found a way that I can actually retire early. Let's say she's 60 and she's still working and she's driving an hour to work and she meets her boss. I might not know that, but my story is going to resonate with her. I found a plan B. What are you talking about? You're only 30 years old. What do you plan B? Well, I don't want to work at my job until I'm 65. I'm going to enjoy my life. I live in Sunny County. I've got her attention. She's thinking, wait a minute. I'm going to work until I'm 70. i got her. What are you talking about, Jack? Well, what are you doing? Of course, she's not going to ask too interested. What are you doing? You know what? I've got to run. I've got an appointment to get to. But I'll tell you what. I don't think it's your email address. Joyce, can you write it down for me? Go ahead and write your number, too. She'll do it. She's curious. She knows me. She trusts me. Hopefully, she likes me. And I'll say, you know what? I will send you some information. I'll send my website, my online store, when I get home. It's non committal. She says, OK, I leave. I'm like, phew. I didn't have to tell her anything else. And that's literally <laughs> what I would do. I would get someone so excited about what I was doing, and I'd say, by the way, maybe you know someone that would be interested in the business part of it, because I'm the only one here in Southern County. And I said that over and over and over and over again every single day. And that's how I built the first part of my business five years ago. Now, if they asked me any questions about the product, I wouldn't have been able to answer. If they asked me a question about how they got paid, I wouldn't have been able to answer. If they asked me pretty much anything, I wouldn't know how to answer. So I would leave the scene before they started asking me the questions. And I'd talk it back to you. I'll get back to you. It was also a great excuse to get an expert on the phone with me. They did the talking. All I had to do was do the introduction. You know, hey Joyce, it's Jackie, give me a call back. Would you have a chance to look at the, the website? Oh yeah, there's some interesting products here. 
you know, tell me more of what you're doing. You know, I thought you'd have some questions, and I really don't know anything yet. I've been doing this for a whole two months. Thank goodness I have support and I help and my business partner, DW, he's incredible. He's one, of, even if he's not, but he is. <laughs> he's one of the leaders in the company. He knows so much. I don't know what I'd do without him. I'm just blessed to have him as my partner. And he helps me every single day with my business. So I'm gonna let him answer all the questions. And so, DW, this is Joyce. Joyce, this is DW. Now, I've already told DW about Joyce. He already knows a little bit about her. And then I turn the call over and I go, mute. And then I breathe. <laughs> and that's smart. Hit the mute, seriously. And use duct tape. <laughs> so, I've given you an example of someone in your warm market, as we call it, okay? Warm market, hot market. That's people that you know, people that you love, your friends, your family, and people that know you're not an expert at what you're doing, right? That's a tough market to be in. We have food to come for quite a bit of <laughs> so that's your that's your warm market, all right. Now let's say um, you've done a business like this before. Your friends don't want to hear what you're doing. This is your third business like this. You're like, what are you gonna sell me now? I don't want to hear it, right? Talk about your own story. You know, talk about what interested you. It says, I went to this thing. Someone asked you tonight or on Monday, what'd you do this weekend? Tell them about being here, even if you're not gonna join us in the business. Tell them anyway. Send them to the person that invited you. Because someone that you know, that person that you know, they either need help with their health, losing weight, or they need help with their finances. This is really for everyone. You're not, we're not pushing. We're not going to talk someone into doing this business. Hey, you need help with your health? Great. We, we might be able to help you. Hey, you need to lose some weight? Yeah, me too. I can help you with that. I'm on this product and it's working. How's your finances? Well, not that you come out and say, how's your finances? But you know, if it comes up, how's that job search going? Oh, Jackie, not so good. I'm looking for six months. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I'm looking anyway. Let me put you in touch with a friend of mine. You might be able to, you know, have something that would work out for you. Okay, so referrals are always great. And that's what we do with friends and family. We tell them our story. We tell them what we're doing. Because why would you keep it from them? What we're doing. You see if there's any interest. Really? Tell me more. Really? Well, okay, we got it. If they ask you questions, it means they're interested. Keep it a conversation. Don't sell. It's not your job. Do you guys like being sold to? How about when you go in the store, the mall, furniture store, clothing store? Hi, can I help you? What are you looking for? And they're all over you, and you just, just go over there. I just want to, I'm just looking. Please go away. <laughs> Nobody likes being sold to. I mean, they're, they're helpful and all that, but, you know, give you some breathing space. Well, other people don't like to be sold to either. So what we do is sizzle, and I love this because the founder of our company is, is telling us the same thing. Lead with products. Tell people about our products. Tell people about our mission. Tell people how you can help them. This is our billionaire founder. I've never heard this before. All I've ever heard before in these kinds of companies is lead with the business, lead with the business, talk about the money, talk I was like, oh, that's a big turn off for me anyway. And that's what turns people off to this industry. We're all about health and wellness. We've got 20 full-time research scientists on staff every single day just creating and developing new products for us. That's exciting. Tell stories. Hey, listen, I was at this event on Saturday, and I heard um, this pastor and his wife, her blood pressure was way up there. And I know it was in the mid-300s, the high number. Ideal was like 120, 130. And she went on these products, trying to look something, and uh, I think she said after two weeks, um, her health was coming back to normal, and went to the doctor, and her blood pressure is normal after 20 years. Wow, that'll get someone's attention. I'll tell stories, okay? If it is your mother, Joe, you don't need to get her in the business. <laughs> don't bother her with that. But you know what? Most of our mothers are on some sort of prescription medication. Most of our mothers are tired, fatigued, maybe they're having hormonal issues, maybe they can't sleep, whatever it is, type 2 diabetes, tell them about the products. So you're telling stories, all right? Then there's the cool market. I'm giving you a quick version. Cool market, what is that? That's my favorite market. People all around you, 
you, you guys just all became my cool market, and so did your friends. What does that mean? It means people that know of you, or you know of them, or you have something in common. <coughs> you go to the same church. Your kids play on the same soccer team. Um, you both uh, have been, went to a chamber of commerce meeting, and you saw each other. And you both live in the same town. That cool market is endless. And you know why I like it? Because the most cool market, I mean, it's, it's unlimited, but you can go and talk to someone that owns a dress shop, or a furniture store, or a restaurant, or anyone really that owns a business. That's my favorite part of the cool market. Because I can say, and you all can say, being in a business, you are an independent business owner. It says, well, you know what, I have a small business too. I work from home, and, and uh, you know, I know other business owners are suffering in this economy. Gosh, how's your, shop, how's your store doing? They will actually tell you how bad they're doing. That's the funny part about it. They'll tell you, oh my gosh, compared to last two years ago, uh, I used to have a line out the door, and now, gosh, you really, they will tell you how bad it is. Misery loves company, but the company that you have is, is good news. You actually have a solution. So when people open up to you, we already know we have a solution to help them lose weight, get healthier, or maybe help them with their finances. And the great thing about a store owner, it's just one example, is that they have to sit in their shop. Again, my mom's had her own furniture store for 30 years. And she sits in her shop in California, and she waits for people to come in. Yellow Pages isn't work anymore. People go to the internet. She has an internet presence, but you know, she's not really savvy that way yet. So she waits for people to come in her store. And I'll call and check in. How are you doing, Mom? No customers today. Who's buying furniture in you know, bad California economy? Uh, if she sells something, it's a really good day. And she hopes it keeps up. So she's relying on opportunities to come to her, right? In this business, I like to say, we go and create the opportunity. And the business owner sitting in their store, I'll say, well, you know, I actually work from home. And, you know, you're having this conversation. But I work from home, and I help other people do the same. In fact, I help business owners and with retail shops, hint, hint, we're talking about them to create an additional stream of income without having to change their lifestyle. Really. And you can say, if I could show you a way to do you want me to show you what I'm teaching other people to do? Ask, ask the question. I'd love to share with you. Maybe you might know someone that would be interested. Always that referral, because people don't like to get targeted, they don't like to get sold to. So that referral thing is huge for me. So I use it in the warm market, and I use it in the cool market. Unlimited. You can walk into any store, in Denver, you can see I'm a fellow business owner. How's your business going? Boy, this economy is tough, isn't it? You look around, there's no customers in the store. Just strike up a conversation with people. You can get them talking by asking a few questions. Then you're golden. You're having the conversation. In the conversation, exchange of information, you're finding out if they have a need. Okay? Cold market. Cold market, a little scary. <coughs> it's people you don't know. Who would rather talk to someone that they know versus they don't know? Okay, right? More comfortable, right? They know you, it's a piece of cake. And, but talking to a stranger about your business is usually on the phone. Because if you're talking to them in person, it means they're a cool market. You have something in common. You live in the same community. So cold market, I wouldn't recommend this right away, so we're not going to get into a lot of teaching about this. But if you're comfortable talking on the phone, if you're comfortable talking to strangers, if you've already talked to your war market, you've already talked to your cool market, all your cool market, which is impossible, but you get my point, then you can branch out. You can place ads in the paper. You can, um, you can go on LinkedIn, join some groups, social media, contact these people, give them a call. You can buy leads from, there's actually lead generate, generating companies. And if you're someone that loves talking on the phone, you don't mind talking to strangers, or you've been in this business enough and you feel comfortable enough to do that, great. There's a whole world of people out there, 300 million people in the US. You are never without enough people to talk to. So you can, you can do that. You can buy leads. You can generate leads. Dana and I have been doing this for five years now. And I'm on the phone. That's my strength. He's on the computer. What's he doing on the computer? He's placing ads, 
Well, hopefully it's productive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's watching a movie. Yeah. Cancel that Netflix. So what, what happens is this. Real simple. You're going to do, personally do, a minimum. I don't know how you can do this. I mean, a blind dog with his note in his mouth could do more than this. All right? And, uh, just, you know, type on the note of the coin, you know, attacks cancer. I mean, you should be able to do this easy. And so, Marianne, who just got started two weeks ago, um, when it comes to this and these products right here, has sold over $3,000 worth in two and a half weeks. $3,000. Right and I told Tom those guys, I said, well, Marianne comes on board, she'll be between seven and 10000 a month just on retail. Okay, because what she does, here's what retail does. You retail what the products have done for you, and you retail someone what they've done for someone else. That's what retail means. It's real simple. It's not, not a hard word to figure out. You know, and everything we do is based on results. Results, though often harsh, are always fair. Does that make sense? And when people are on these products, guess what they get? They get results. Okay? And when they're not on them, they get death. Okay. So, I mean, they're just dying faster, you know? And it's like, over the cliff, over the cliff, all the dummies. We're not doing that, man. We're putting a billboard. You don't have to go over the cliff. Stop already, okay? Get on some stuff. You know, get rid of some of your chubby mess. Which I've got rid of 18 pounds of chubby. That'd be like going buying three bags, five-pound bags of sugar. Just go to the grocery store within the next 48 hours, get three-pound bags of sugar, and carry those around the entire time that you shop for everything else in one of your arms. That's what I got rid of, okay? All right. All right. All right. All right. Now, so you're going to do 200 personal volume yourself between you and your preferred customers. With our team, what we're teaching is how to do 200 per week, which is 800 a month. They're saying just 200 a month. I'm talking to our team about doing 200 a week. I mean, come on, are you in business or not? Okay, are you in business or not? All right, good. listen. You know what 200 is? Right here. One of these and one of those, and that's 200. Woo -hoo. Can yeah. you do that once a week? <laughs> Hello, by Monday morning, 10 o'clock. You know, then you got the rest of the week to take off if you want to be lazy. I mean, it's like, okay. your choice. But I'm just saying, you can do that. This is the, the triangle of light. I mean, it is right here. And, and uh, it's huge what can happen. Huge. All right, now, so you do your 200 of, of what you're personally going to use or that you've sold to a per, per customer. So that's it. So if you have three people, okay, three times 200 business volume or personal volume on this level. So everyone that's on your level, your first level, right here, if you have three people that do, do that right there, 300 times, or three times 200 equals what? 600. 600, okay? Now, what do you, what, that's, that's volume comes to you and you get paid a percentage of that volume. Volume, business volume, and personal volume is nothing more than a unit value to help us calculate commissions and bonuses. That's all it's there for. It just helps us calculate commissions and bonuses. I'll tell you something when it comes to personal volume. This is the first company I've seen on planet Earth, worldwide, that if you spend $1,000, you're basically getting $1,000 of personal volume. The business volume is a little bit less on some products like this because of the expense of putting it together. And so with the personal volume here, this is what, like 50 bucks? Okay, 50 bucks and uh, $1.67 a mail. Uh, that's pretty cool, all right? That costs you $12 for a uh, salad at all the places. It cracks me up. You know, $5 for a triple killer burger. Okay? You know? And uh, costs more to eat healthy. Well, here you eat healthy for $1.67. Somebody's laughing. That's a good deal. All right? I mean, that's a good deal. And we can give you a deal that shows you all the stuff that's in there. And it's, it's amazing. I got it from Jackie, so I stole it. So, it, uh, uh, so what happens is this. You're, you're uh, where was I at? <laughs> she looks so good, I got distracted. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, you're going to get a percentage. We're talking about volume. You're going to get a percentage of that volume. And the percentage on your first level here is basically, it's what, 5%. Okay? So you get 5%. So five times point, or you know, 600 times 5%, what do you get there? What's that gonna be? That's $30. So I want you to learn to calculate that number. If you learn this equation right now, you don't have to ever walk around, oh, they can really understand that marketing plan. I've got three, four people that we put in the business, before their products arrived, they had a $300 check sitting in their e-wallet. Hello, 
can, can you make the distinguish between the faster bonus, the very first time the yep. order versus yep. the monthly? This is what we're calling your monthly check that you're going to get on about the 15th of every month. It might get there a little bit early on that, but just think 15th of the month. All the work that we've done in January, we just received that check just a few days ago. Okay, all the work we're doing in February, this is the this is the check we're going to get uh, when it when it comes to the the 15th of March. Okay, now fast start bonus is, boom, you do the work this week, and if this week ends, well, this week the 21st just got over, right? So so what happens? All the all those people that are personally run the business, and whatever their volume was, okay, I got, we got 30 percent of that volume. All right. That was the check that was sent into our e-wallet. E-wallet is a little thing in your back office that says you have X amount of dollars. You can shoot that money to your, to your bank. You can pass it on to someone else to do an order, whatever you want to do. You can use it for yourself. You can let it ride for your own auto purchase. You know, I've yet to put any money in this business for my own auto purchase. Every bit of products we've bought so far, with the exception of the initial order, okay, have all come from, have all come from what's been in my e-wallet. All right? And we bought we, you have a lot of products, okay? You know, Helen's attitude is that what's in that catalog, she should have it today. All right, that's just the way she thinks, and, and women keep thinking that way because you should, all right? <laughs> so, is that a good enough distinction, or do we know go a little deeper? No, no, that's good enough <laughs> distinction, okay? Because there's, everyone has a different way of explaining something, and sometimes you'll hear something from myself, something from Jackie, something from Helen, Danielle, something from Dana, and, and you'll, you'll grab it. So, this is why you want to hear the marketing plan seven different tags from seven completely different people mm -hmm. so you'll grab stuff that you didn't grab before. So the great way to answer the question, what's the difference? You get rewarded for getting a new customer or a new distributor. As your reward, you're getting 30%. Here you go. First the time ordering. First, third, first time. Now they've extended first that for whatever they order for the first month. The first three days. You know, yeah, it's, I understand that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. yeah. That adds up like right now. It's huge. And uh, we personally, Bring someone in as a master distributor, which we'll maybe talk about that later. That's where you have a thousand personal points, because that gives them enough to use themselves and also enough to pass on to some people who say, oh, I want some of that. Well, I'm glad you asked, I've got it right here. I had you in mind. You know, I knew you wanted to live instead of die, so I had you in mind. Right? And so it's to choose. But I want you to understand how you do this, because all these numbers coming up with $30, where did that $30 come from? How did we get there? Three people did a minimum of how much business volume? Put, put mm -hmm. business volume here. Okay? Or, or PV, put it there. PV. Yeah, it doesn't matter. PV is fine. Personal volume, okay, slash business volume. Yeah, just put a B on there. I'm sorry, I messed it up. There you go. Did personal volume, or business volume, 200, minimum of 200, right? Okay? You times that at six, 600 total, all right? Not in dollars, but volume. Mm -hmm. By, you get 5% of that volume. 5% of the volume equals out to what? $30. $30. Now we're going to take these next. Now these three people, okay, so you take three times three is what? Nine. nine. So you get nine people. So I want you to know how we get the next level. Nine. All right? And each one of those nine get how much volume? 200. 200. So you take that 200, 1800. okay, times that gives you 1,800. Now here you're going to get 10%. You just got wrecked. So level two, well, it raises you up a little bit. <laughs> I love this. I love it. Watch. Now, 10% of 1,800 is how much? 180. Okay. And uh, second, how can we have 80 up there? How, who said 1,800? Did we do something wrong? That's a typo. Up here's a typo. Oh, that must be the old one. That's the old one. Okay, cool. There you go. See, that's what I'm talking about. Don't mess with her. She can push buttons. Don't mess with her. Okay. I know our numbers are you know, looking pretty good. All right. So that's $180. All right. The old system's $80. I mean, like this system pretty well. Okay. All right. Now, here we go. Now, these nine are going to get three. So three times nine is what? 27. I want you to know how we got there. Not like, oh, you make 180. Oh, you make 30. How did you get to the 30? How did you get to the 180? And so is that helpful then? Okay. So 27 people are doing a minimum of 200 business volume. Okay, minimum. Everyone say minimum. minimum. Okay. Now that equals 27 times 200 equals 5,400 business volume. This is kind of fun because I don't know what Tom was thinking, but I love his brain. Because he did something brilliant here, and we, we do some advanced training sometime soon. 
um, we'll, I'll tell you how powerful this really, really is. But right now, we're just going to touch the basics. So now this year, we get 10%, okay, of that particular number. We don't have, I mean, 15%, sorry, 15%, okay? How many see that? And then get a red pen and circle this, okay? 15% of $5,400 would be what? Eight hundred and ten bucks. Correct. Sorry, babe. All right, she's following for me. Right. Eight hundred and ten dollars, uh, and and so that happens. You can understand. You got to go with the phone. I mean, it's just us. I mean, you know, it's just us. I mean, it's just us. Okay, now that's pretty cool. That's eight hundred ten dollars. I mean, how many stands up? Now you're 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 starting to attack your debt. Eight hundred dollars a month or some kind of debt. Don't go out and blow this, don't go out and spend it, don't go out and be stupid with it. Attack your debt. Or start getting your products so you can attack your health to give you more strength to attack debt longer, okay? Now, the fourth level, these guys right here, what's going to happen at 27, are going to go out and get three apiece. And you might have somebody that decides to get 10 and mess the whole thing up. That happens. <laughs> All right? It just happens. So these guys go out and they're going to get, so three times 27, 81, okay? And so, now, they do 200 business volume, so when you're talking about 81 people doing 200 business volume, should give you how much business volume? 16,200. 16,200. Oh, you got them up here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you guys were smart for a minute. Anybody can read. Uh, you might have to hide that sign for one minute. So 16,000, but I understand something. You know how to cut. Now, on this level, you're going to get 10% of that. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. So ten percent of that on that level. So everybody that's on that level, whatever their whatever their volume is, it adds up, and you're only ten percent of it. So you don't don't have to worry about where the volume. Now you know where it's coming from. So ten percent of that sixteen thousand two hundred is what? One thousand six hundred. Hi, my slide. One thousand what? Seriously, not reading. What is it? One six. Okay, one thousand six hundred and, and twenty bucks. Our game's 1,000, yeah, that's right, 1,620 bucks. Now we're going to go to level five. So I want to show you how big this thing can get, and then we're going to talk about two other things. So level, it, be honest with you, if, if this is what you, the only part you've got about the plan right now, besides the, the, the fast start bonus, if you catch those two things, you know the plan well enough to talk to anybody. It's huge, and, but here we go. So 81 people go out and get three apiece. We're not asking them to set the lids on fire. I mean, the National Sales Association says the average person will bring them to a business or recruit to work where they work about 2.8 to 3 people. So that's just the average. All right? And I recruited a person that's about 2.8 before, right? But anyway, it's case. It's not nice. Bash it, throw one up for me. All right. And so, now, so 81 times 3. You got you, you're working on that number? 242. 243. All right. And I'm going to show you some dynamic things here in a minute. All right. 243. You're going to, now this year get 5%. But notice what happens to the money you make. You get 5%. So you, you, you times 243 times 200 business volume. All right. You want the number? Okay. They can cheat, so you can too. All right. <laughs> All right, that should be 48,600, okay? A volume, 5% of that, so get 5% of that volume, all right? <coughs> you can't really hide that, can you? Now, when I'm sitting down with you one-on-one -on -one and we're talking, or you're on Skype and I hit share screen, I'm gonna make you get your, I have you get a calculator, your favorite pen in the whole world, all right? Your most favorite pen, if you don't have one, get one. And, uh, and, and a big notepad, and I make you write each one of these numbers down on calculator, and you figure them out so that way you catch on to how this thing works. I don't want you to walk around going, this thing's so hard. No, it's not. It's simple, simple, simple math. All right, so now where are we at? Where are we at? 5%, 5% of that number, okay? 5% of that number is $2,430. So we got half the percentage, but we got more than almost twice the money. Not more than, but almost twice the money. That's huge. Now level six. Level six and seven do exist. A lot of people don't talk about them. I don't know why. Hello, Jackie talks about them. I talk about them. Daniel Lee talks about them. The rest of you are gonna. If not, I'm gonna knock you out. Okay, here's the deal. All right, number six. 
You times that by three is going to give you what? 243 times by three. <laughs> How much? One person. 729. Okay, 729 is it, Rob. You got it. All right. 729. Now you times that by 200 gives you 145,800 business volume that you've done. That means a lot later on because you've moved up the tier as far as being like a four-star master type person. Okay, so that's kind of a big deal. Um, now you, you get 5% of that level. 5% of that is going to be $7,290 into your e-wallet you know, the 15th of every month. I should say no later than the 15th of every month. Seventh level's kind of huge. All right, you say, well, how in the world can I become? Because this level, you have to be a five-star master in volume in order to get this money. So how does that happen? Well, you go, you hit this level, and guess what happens at the same time? You qualify to get paid on this level. So 729 times three is gonna give you 2,187 individuals that do 200 personal volume, 200 business volume, okay? And that's gonna equal 437,000 business volume, 437,400 business volume, sorry. And you get 2% of that. I mean, he just went down to 2%. But well, let's see what the number is. I love to do that, okay? Kind of nice, because that's gonna be, are we ready? All right, that's gonna be eight, you're doing awesome. $8,748. Okay? Now, let's add all these up because these numbers are coming in. You get, you, don't get, you get paid on all these levels. So when you add this number up that month, that number right there ends up being $21,108. Now, would that change some things in your life? <laughs> you could take the catalog to your nieces, to your sisters, to everyone and say, one time only, order anything you want when it comes to makeup. Wouldn't that be fun? Just have a big party. And then they, you see, then you would be chasing to get involved in one of those things. Right. <laughs> By the way, which jams my nerves, okay? Go ahead. You repeat customers. They would be, <laughs> Now, if we times that by 12 months, that's $253,000. And two hundred ninety-six, two hundred fifty-two thousand, and two hundred ninety-six dollars total. Keep in mind that two hundred fifty thousand dollars does not count three things. Number one, it does not count your fast start bonus. Okay, it does not count your retention bonus. It does not count your master matching bonus. Four things, sorry. It does not count some dodo head messing up the whole plan and doing more than two hundred business volume. All right. It does not count those four things. You're at $250,000 just on one way of making money with this company. All right? Now, I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to have you, you take the same compilation, and I want you, your assignment is to go home and do what we call a 5x5, five five, just like I did right there. The bottom line number on a 5x5, five five, seven levels, means you make $516,800 per month. That's two million, I mean, six million two hundred one thousand six hundred dollars per year. You could build some churches, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can combine some money and do some investments and get some missions really going. Yes, yes. You have a missionary come off. You have a missionary come off the field and give him. He don't have to go to every church begging for ten dollars a month. You can give him a full year's break, yes. and you can send him to Hawaii for a year to rejuvenate and get receipts. Yes. You get yes. fired up. Okay. I don't know what your dream is, but this marketing plan can get it done for you. Can't yeah, he wants to do a soup kitchen. All right. I want to feed kids that can't get real nutrition and food. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? This thing's bigger than us. This isn't about you just kind of, just get the money you need. To. See, here's where you want to be in life. You want to be in a position where money has nothing to do with any decision that you make. And I'm telling you something right now. As long as it does, right on. As long as it does, money's in control and not you. And you get money out of the way, then you'll find out what you're on that sort of thing. When Danny gets up here and he's talking about all that, when Jackie's up here and she's going through, what is she talking about? She's talking about getting yourself healthy and getting money out of the way so you can do what you want to do. 
She can be what you're supposed to be. She can find out why you're on this planet, why God put you here, and what, what your real passions are. Once money's out of the way, you get to do them. You can go to a restaurant, and you're just going to look at what they have on, on, the, on the menu, not what it costs. <laughs> you can look across the table and say, I want to pay for that one, that one, and that one, and that one. Don't send them their bill. Okay? And don't tell them who did it either. That gets fun. <laughs> that gets fun. You look behind you in your rearview mirror, and you're going through you're going through Mickey's to get your salad with chicken and all the grill. Alright? You look behind you and you see there's 12 kids in a van. Every one of them get double, double kids meal things. You pay for it. And they get their order before they pull up and they dump all the stuff in the car. <laughs> it's fun. Okay? How are you gonna do that? How's that gonna happen? Well, here's how it's going to happen. You're going to get three people. Three people that are dead dog serious about being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Wouldn't you love to take just your favorite clients and just train just them? Not the white ones that say one thing and do another all week and blame it on you. No, your clients say you really want to train. All right? So it's huge. Here's how you do it. We're going to do what we call fill in the boxes. All right? So uh, I'll let you uh, do one side, Daniel, and you do the other. Here's your goal. Tell someone you're looking for some real leaders. Put your name here. Or put your dream in this big box up here. Put your mission in this big box up here. What you really want to accomplish. That represents who you are. And you're looking for three leaders. Here's your first three leaders. And you tell them, I'm going to pencil you in in this box until you prove to me you're not a leader. Then I'm scratching your name out and I'm going to put a real leader in there. Does that make sense? <laughs> I mean, this isn't about playing patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, staying in the 45-year plan as long as I can game. Okay? This is about getting it done and getting it done now, taking action. You know, some of you that aren't a business partner, I can't believe you haven't already found a computer and already got your first order in and are already not part of the system. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because this thing's... Millionaires take action now. Not next week. Not let me think about it. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, whack, 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 whack. Here's what happens, okay? You're going to fill in these boxes with names of people that want to go somewhere, that want to accomplish something, that want to make a difference in their life and other people's lives. So this is what I see in the marketing plan. I see you making a difference. Mm -hmm. All right? I'll flip it back to who's ever next real part. Right, right. Why don't I go to the... Okay. That was good. I was an engineer. I yeah. was a skeptic. Jackie came home hearing about an opportunity like this from a previous company. And um, I, I was just shaking my head. I'm on my laptop. I'm going, no, 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 network marketing. I don't want to do it. It's just not it's the same. It's a very risky. And then I realized she's so excited. I don't want to be the dream crusher. Let's give it a shot. See what happens. Within six months, she had replaced her income. Five thousand dollars. Was able to quit the gym, quit personal training, start doing this full time. A year later, she replaced my income, which was almost ten thousand dollars a month. <laughs> And we topped out just under twenty thousand dollars before this company, you know, made some bad decisions and went bankrupt. Yeah. But we realized, wow, that's double what I made as an engineer with a master's degree. Mm -hmm. I never thought I could make twenty thousand dollars a month, yeah. and that was within two years of starting this business. Mm -hmm. So we realized this is the vehicle we need to get to what you know to build the life of our dreams, to be able to help other people, mm -hmm. to do what DW was just talking about. Yeah. What, what we were missing was the right company. Because we built a downline of 2,000 people, the company goes bankrupt, all that work's down the drain. So we said, okay, we know what we want to do, we need to find the best company that's going to be there for 20 years so we can ride this thing to these levels and more. Yeah. You know, 4x4, four 5x5 four, five five gets into the, the kind of money DW is talking about. So we started a search. We, where's the best company? Who's got the Who's got the experience that's done this before? It's built a billion dollar company. Who has the best products? Who has the best compensation plan? Who is debt free and doesn't have financial issues where they're going to be there in 20 years? Dynasty Trust. Sizzle came up, nobody else came up on that list. So she drove out to Utah. Yeah. The rest is history. Oh, that's <laughs> 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 highlights of what you have talked about from here? Okay. Oh, yeah. This is. Um, you guys don't have this, we can probably get you some copies, but this is what they handed out at the convention, we can pass it around. And basically this is a summary of what we just talked about. 30% fast start bonus to you directly for people you bring in. 5% if your deadline brings in somebody, you get 5% of that order. 
these are the percentages on the seven levels. And that's if you're 200 a month. If you're less than 200 a month, it goes down a little bit. Um, master check matching, car program. And then these are the volume qualifications. And so it's all on one piece of paper. Not too many companies can put their comp plan on one piece of paper. So we can get you copies of that if you want it. Uh, send it to you in a PDF. You can print it out at home, show it to people. It's, this is truly the best plan in the industry. Awesome. All right, so now, um, Jeff, you have some other things Just for kicks, well, those guys are talking about right now. Go crazy, three hours a day. 
You know, an hour. I have people that actually make calls during their lunch hour on their drive to work. It's kind of a long drive. You East Coast people, the traffic's crazy. And then at night, they might be on the phone again for now. She'll be actually putting in three hours a day. And they're doing that five or six days a week. That's 15 to 20 hours. That's a lot. That's a lot of phone time, talking on the phone, just telling your, your story. I love what you said with the, you know, retail, with that Texas accent, retail. You know? <laughs> just retell your story. And if you don't have a story yet, two words of advice, tell someone else's story. Or you can tell them your story about why you chose Sizzle, why you chose this business model. And that works for people. Give them the words to say. Because inaction makes no money for anyone. If you don't get your new person active and involved in talking about the new business within the first week or two, they might change their mind. They want to, you want to get them in money-making mode, that I call it, right away. <laughs>